Listen, all of y'all need to go see this Mr. Rogers documentary immediately. I know not everyone's high on documentaries, right? But I'm telling you, bro, this year has some really great ones out there. Some that are so good, they may even break your top 10. But the thing with the Mr. Rogers documentary, right? And I'll be honest with you, is that it doesn't have any fancy editing. There's no gimmick, right? Legit, if you wanted to save your money, you can just search up a lot of these clips online, minus some of the interviews that are there, because it just goes to show you that Mr. Rogers' story speaks for itself. Now, in case you don't know who this man is, let me explain. Mr. Rogers is a G. Frederick McFeely Rogers was born in 1928 and was supposed to become a priest, but he either uh, saw what priests were really doing to kids or just realized how he could really help them through television. For the kiddos out there, uh, television was the thing people used to watch before YouTube and uh, streaming, and Mr. R was the goat when it came to being a positive role model through that. You know, he had this show called Mr. Rogers Neighborhood, which to kids nowadays may be like the dumbest thing in the world, but it actually made a difference to those who were watching it, right? He would voice things through different puppets, but the most G thing that he was doing out there was that he was the king of subliminals. It would be with small things like having the angry puppets be based off of people he knew you like his aunt who was a shrew but then he would cover current topics like racial tensions on the news where black folk were in the pool just chilling and then randomly you had these buffoons who would come out and try to bleach them so what fred did was he decided to get his homie officer clemens to come wade in the water with them to piss off them racists on tv I got, I got, I got there's even this clip you can find online right now where he goes to court in order to maintain the funding that he needed for PVS, the funding that he needed to continue helping children. And this man straight up murdered. This man straight up demolished. He crucified this man with kindness. And he got the funding. Like, this dude was the real deal, right? He actually cared about kids. And considering I worked at a school, I know how the system works. You know, one, you get no respect if you're a cartoon, but two, you see how a lot of people are actually focused on the money side of things and not the kids. That's heartbreaking. Mr. Rogers, however, he cared. He spoke to these kids with puppets. He would see the best in people even when people didn't like him, which, yeah, you gotta be on some level of pettiness when you want to have beef with Frederick Rogers, and even though people wanted to slander his name, right? They even show you how at his funeral, people had signs blaming him for why America is hell. Mother, in America? Stupid. All he ever showed back was respect. And I know there's a whole thing about civility right now, right? It's been all over Twitter and, you know, obviously it's a case-by-case -case basis. I, I, I get that you're not going to be nice to the, someone who's like whipping you, but y'all notice how it's usually people on the same side fighting with each other. I miss the fact that there's not someone like Mr. Rogers on TV right now, right? Someone more positive and encouraging than Caleb. Someone who influenced me to not only up my style with this cardigan, but show kindness to others and remind everybody how important they are. I'm just so proud of all of you who have grown up with us. And I know how tough it is some days to look with hope and confidence on the months and years ahead. But I would like to tell you what I often told you when you were much younger. I like you just the way you are. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Curious to know your thoughts. I know that it's not even to say Mr. Rogers isn't for everyone, right? He, he took his time. He's slower. I, I don't think we have the attention span to listen to him today. But honestly, what he did not only influenced a lot of the things that go on in the ATZ show channel, but like it was just his viewpoint on life, always being positive and hopeful. There's a scene in the movie where 9-11 where happens and he doesn't get the point of, of him going out there and saying things. And it's like, bro. The scariest thing ain't the movie Hereditary. The scariest thing is seeing Mr. Rogers, the person who's supposed to have all hope, lose no hope. Man, it makes you feel void of everything, but no, for real. Maybe you don't know who Mr. Rogers is. I would implore you to watch this documentary because he was a, he was a true person, right? He was a real G. And um, yeah, uh, AV Club, you should, should have never posted this little article right here trying to slander his name. You know how easy it would have been to have this be my thumbnail? I respect the man too much. I hope that you guys too. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll send you a pair of cons and uh, cardigan.